The Mars Orbiter Mission MOM, also called Mangalyaan, Mars Craft, from Sanskrit, Mangala Mangala, Mars, and Yana Yana, Craft, Vehicle, is a space probe orbiting Mars since 24 September 2014. It was launched on 5 November 2013 by the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO. It is India's first interplanetary mission and ISRO has also become the fourth space agency to reach Mars, after the Soviet Space Program, NASA, and the European Space Agency. It is the first Asian nation to reach Mars orbit, and the first nation in the world to do so in its first attempt. The Mars Orbiter Mission probe lifted off from the first launch pad at Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sriharikota Range Shar, Andhra Pradesh, using a Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle (PSLV) rocket C25 at 9:08 Coordinated Universal Time on the 5th of November 2013. The launch window was approximately 20 days long and started on the 28th of October 2013. The MOM probe spent about a month in Earth orbit, where it made a series of seven apogee-raising orbital maneuvers before trans-Mars injection on 30 November 2013 UTC. After a 298-day transit to Mars, it was inserted into Mars orbit on 24 September 2014. The mission is a technology demonstrator project to develop the technologies for designing, planning, management, and operations of an interplanetary mission. It carries five instruments that will help advance knowledge about Mars to achieve its secondary, scientific objective. The spacecraft is currently being monitored from the Spacecraft Control Center at ISRO Telemetry, Tracking and Command Network in Bangalore with support from Indian Deep Space Network antennae at Bulalu, Karnataka. History On 23 November 2008, the first public acknowledgement of an unmanned mission to Mars was announced by then ISRO Chairman G. Madhavan Nair. The MOM mission concept began with a feasibility study in 2010 by the Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology after the launch of lunar satellite Chandrayaan-1 in 2008. Prime Minister Manmohan Singh approved the project on 3 August 2012, after the Indian Space Research Organisation completed 125 crore rupees $17 million of required studies for the orbiter. The total project cost may be up to 454 crore rupees $63 million. The satellite costs 153 crore rupees 21 million dollars and the rest of the budget has been attributed to ground stations and relay upgrades that will be used for other ISRO projects. The space agency had planned the launch on the 28th of October 2013 but was postponed to the 5th of November following the delay in ISRO's spacecraft tracking ships to take up predetermined positions due to poor weather in the Pacific Ocean. Launch opportunities for a fuel saving Hohmann transfer orbit occur every 26 months, in this case, the next two would be in 2016 and 2018. Assembly of the PSLV XL launch vehicle, designated C 25, started on 5 August 2013. The mounting of the five scientific instruments was completed at Indian Space Research Organisation Satellite Centre, Bangalore, and the finished spacecraft was shipped to Sriharikota on 2 October 2013 for integration to the PSLV XL launch vehicle. The satellite's development was fast-tracked and completed in a record 15 months. Despite the US federal government shutdown, NASA reaffirmed on 5 October 2013 it would provide communications and navigation support to the mission. During a meeting on 30 September 2014, NASA and ISRO officials signed an agreement to establish a pathway for future joint missions to explore Mars. One of the working group's objectives will be to explore potential coordinated observations and science analysis between the MAVEN orbiter and MOM, as well as other current and future Mars missions. Topic. Cost The total cost of the mission was approximately 450 crore rupees, 73 million dollars, making it the least expensive Mars mission to date. The low cost of the mission was ascribed by K. Radhakrishnan, the chairman of ISRO, to various factors, including a modular approach, few ground tests, and long 18 to 20 hour working days for scientists. BBC's Jonathan Amos mentioned lower worker costs, homegrown technologies, simpler design, and a significantly less complicated payload than NASA's MAVEN. Topic: <laughs> Mission objectives. 
The primary objective of the mission is to develop the technologies required for designing, planning, management and operations of an interplanetary mission. The secondary objective is to explore Mars surface features, morphology, mineralogy and Martian atmosphere using indigenous scientific instruments. The main objectives are to develop the technologies required for designing, planning, management and operations of an interplanetary mission comprising the following major tasks. Orbit maneuvers to transfer the spacecraft from Earth-centered orbit to heliocentric trajectory and finally, capture into Martian orbit Development of force models and algorithms for orbit and attitude computations and analysis Navigation in all phases Maintain the spacecraft in all phases of the mission Meeting power, communications, thermal and payload operation requirements Incorporate autonomous features to handle contingency situations Topic. Scientific objectives The scientific objectives deal with the following major aspects Exploration of Mars surface features by studying the morphology, topography and mineralogy Study the constituents of Martian atmosphere including methane and CO2 using remote sensing techniques Study the dynamics of the upper atmosphere of Mars. Effects of solar wind and radiation and the escape of volatiles to outer space. The mission would also provide multiple opportunities to observe the Martian moon Phobos and also offer an opportunity to identify and re estimate the orbits of asteroids seen during the Martian transfer trajectory. Topic. Spacecraft design Mass the lift off mass was 1337.2 kilograms 2948 pounds including 852 kilograms 1878 pounds of propellant Bus the spacecraft's bus is a modified I1K structure and propulsion hardware configuration similar to Chandrayaan-1 India's lunar orbiter that operated from 2008 to 2009 with specific improvements and upgrades needed for a Mars mission the satellite structure is constructed of an aluminium and composite fiber reinforced plastic CFRP sandwich construction. Power, electric power is generated by three solar array panels of 1.8 meters times 1.4 meters, 5 feet 11 in times 4 feet 7 in each, 7.56 square meters, 81.4 square feet total, for a maximum of 840 watts of power generation in Mars orbit. Electricity is stored in a 36 Ah lithium-ion battery. Propulsion, a liquid fuel engine with a thrust of 440 newtons is used for orbit raising and insertion into Mars orbit. The orbiter also has 822 newton thrusters for attitude control. Its propellant mass at launch was 852 kilograms 1,878 pounds. Attitude and orbit control electronics, uses a MAR31750 processor. Topic. Payload The 15 kg scientific payload consists of five instruments Atmospheric studies Lyman Alpha Photometer a photometer that measures the relative abundance of deuterium and hydrogen from Lyman Alpha emissions in the upper atmosphere. Measuring the deuterium-hydrogen ratio will allow an estimation of the amount of water loss to outer space. The nominal plan to operate LAP is between the ranges of approximately 3,000 km miles before and after Mars periapsis. Minimum observation duration for achieving LAP's science goals is 60 minutes per orbit during normal range of operation. The objectives of this instrument are as follows, estimation of d-h ratio Estimation of escape flux of H2 corona Generation of hydrogen and deuterium coronal profiles Methane sensor for Mars MSM was meant to measure methane in the atmosphere of Mars, if any, and map its sources with an accuracy of parts per billion PPB. After entering Mars orbit it was determined that the instrument, although in good working condition, had a design flaw and it was not capable of detecting methane. The instrument was repurposed as an albedo mapper. Particle environment studies 
Mars Exospheric Neutral Composition Analyzer is a quadrupole mass analyzer capable of analyzing the neutral composition of particles in the range of 1 to 300 atomic mass units atomic mass unit with unit mass resolution. The heritage of this payload is from Chandra's Altitudinal Composition Explorer chance payload aboard the Moon Impact Probe in Chandrayaan-1 mission. MENCA is planned to perform five observations per orbit with one hour per observation. Surface imaging studies Thermal infrared imaging spectrometer TIS, TIS measures the thermal emission and can be operated during both day and night. It would map surface composition and mineralogy of Mars and also monitor atmospheric CO2 and turbidity required for the correction of MSM data. Temperature and emissivity are the two basic physical parameters estimated from thermal emission measurement. Many minerals and soil types have characteristic spectra in TIR region. TIS can map surface composition and mineralogy of Mars. Mars Color Camera MCC. This tricolor camera gives images and information about the surface features and composition of Martian surface. It is useful to monitor the dynamic events and weather of Mars like dust storms, atmospheric turbidity. MCC will also be used for probing the two satellites of Mars, Phobos and Deimos. MCC would provide context information for other science payloads. MCC images are to be acquired whenever MSM and TIS data is acquired. Seven Aporian imaging of the entire disk and multiple perihelion images of 540 km x 540 km 340 miles x 340 miles are planned in every orbit. Topic. Telemetry and command The ISRO telemetry, tracking and command network performed navigation and tracking operations for the launch with ground stations at Sriharikota, Port Blair, Brunei and Biak in Indonesia, and after the spacecraft's apogee became more than 100,000 km, an 18 m and a 32 m diameter antenna of the Indian Deep Space Network were utilized. The 18 meters 59 feet dish antenna was used for communication with the craft until April 2014, after which the larger 32 meters 105 feet antenna was used. NASA's Deep Space Network is providing position data through its three stations located in Canberra, Madrid and Goldstone on the U.S. West Coast during the non-visible period of ISRO's network. The South African National Space Agency's Sansa Hartebeesthook HBK ground station is also providing satellite tracking, telemetry and command services. Topic: <laughs> Communications. Communications are handled by two 230-watt TWTAs and two coherent transponders. The antenna array consists of a low-gain antenna, a medium-gain antenna and a high-gain antenna. The high gain antenna system is based on a single 2.2 meters, 7 feet 3 in reflector illuminated by a feed at S band. It is used to transmit and receive the telemetry, tracking, commanding and data to and from the Indian Deep Space Network. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mission profile. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Launch. As originally conceived, ISRO was to launch MOM on its geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle GSLV, but as the GSLV failed twice in 2010 and ISRO was continuing to sort out issues with its cryogenic engine, it was not advisable to wait for the new batch of rockets as that would have delayed the MOM project for at least three years. ISRO opted to switch to the less powerful Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV. Since the PSLV was not powerful enough to place MOM on a direct-to-Mars trajectory, the spacecraft was launched into a highly elliptical Earth orbit and used its own thrusters over multiple perigee burns to take advantage of the Oberth effect to place itself on a trans-Mars trajectory. On 19 October 2013, ISRO Chairman K. Radhakrishnan announced that the launch had to be postponed by a week as a result of a delay of a crucial telemetry ship reaching Fiji. The launch was rescheduled for 5 November 2013. 
ISRO's PSLVXL placed the satellite into Earth orbit at 9:50 coordinated universal time on the 5th of November 2013 with a perigee of 264.1 kilometers, 164.1 miles, an apogee of 23,903.6 kilometers, 14,853.0 miles, an inclination of 19.20 degrees with both the antenna and all three sections of the solar panel arrays deployed. During the first three orbit raising operations, ISRO progressively tested the spacecraft systems. The orbiter's dry mass is 500 kg (1,100 and it carried 852 kg (1,878 of fuel and oxidizer at launch. Its main engine, which is a derivative of the system used on India's communication satellites, uses the bipropellant combination monomethylhydrazine and dinitrogen tetroxide to achieve the thrust necessary for escape velocity from Earth. It was also used to slow down the probe for Mars orbit insertion and, subsequently, for orbit corrections. <laughs> orbit raising maneuvers Several orbit raising operations were conducted from the Spacecraft Control Center SCC at the ISRO Telemetry, Tracking and Command Network ISTRAC at Penia, Bangalore on 6, 7, 8, 10, 12 and 16 November by using the spacecraft's onboard propulsion system and a series of perigee burns. The first three of the five planned orbit raising maneuvers were completed with nominal results, while the fourth was only partially successful. However, a subsequent supplementary maneuver raised the orbit to the intended altitude aimed for in the original fourth maneuver. A total of six burns were completed while the spacecraft remained in Earth orbit, with a seventh burn conducted on 30 November to insert MOM into a heliocentric orbit for its transit to Mars. The first orbit raising maneuver was performed on the 6th of November 2013 at 1947 coordinated universal time when the spacecraft's 440 newton 99 lbf liquid engine was fired for 416 seconds. With this engine firing, the spacecraft's apogee was raised to 28,825 kilometers (17,911 miles) with a perigee of 252 kilometers (157 miles). The second orbit raising maneuver was performed on the 7th of November 2013 at 2048 coordinated universal time with a burn time of 570.6 seconds resulting in an apogee of 40,186 kilometers (24,970 miles. The third orbit raising maneuver was performed on the 8th of November 2013 at 2040 coordinated universal time with a burn time of 707 seconds resulting in an apogee of 71,636 kilometers 44,513 miles. The fourth orbit raising maneuver starting at 2036 coordinated universal time on the 10th of November 2013 imparted an incremental velocity of 35 meters per second 110 feet per second to the spacecraft instead of the planned 135 meters per second 440 feet per second as a result of underburn by the motor because of this the apogee was boosted to 78276 kilometers 48638 miles instead of the planned 100000 kilometers 62000 miles when testing the redundancies built in for the propulsion system the flow to the liquid engine stopped with consequent reduction in incremental velocity during the fourth orbit burn, the primary and redundant coils of the solenoid flow control valve of 440 Newton liquid engine and logic for thrust augmentation by the attitude control thrusters were being tested. When both primary and redundant coils were energized together during the planned modes, the flow to the liquid engine stopped. Operating both the coils simultaneously is not possible for future operations, however they could be operated independently of each other, in sequence, as a result of the fourth planned burn coming up short. An additional in-scheduled burn was performed on 12 November 2013 that increased the apogee to 118,642 km 73,721 miles, a slightly higher altitude than originally intended in the fourth maneuver. The apogee was raised to 192,874 kilometers, 119,846 miles on the 15th of November 2013, 1957 coordinated universal time in the final orbit raising maneuver. Topic: Trans-Mars injection. 
On 30 November 2013 at 1919 Coordinated Universal Time, a 23-minute engine firing initiated the transfer of MOM away from Earth orbit and on heliocentric trajectory toward Mars. The probe traveled a distance of 780 million kilometers, 480 million miles to reach Mars. Topic: <laughs> Trajectory correction maneuvers. Four trajectory corrections were originally planned, but only 3 were carried out. The first trajectory correction maneuver TCM was carried out on the 11th of December 2013 at 1 o'clock coordinated universal time by firing the 22 newton 4.9 lbf thrusters for a duration of 40.5 seconds. After this event, MOM was following the designed trajectory so closely that the trajectory correction maneuver planned in April 2014 was not required. The second trajectory correction maneuver was performed on the 11th of June 2014 at 11 o'clock coordinated universal time by firing the spacecraft's 22 newton thrusters for a duration of 16 seconds. The third planned trajectory correction maneuver was postponed due to the orbiter's trajectory closely matching the planned trajectory. The third trajectory correction was also a deceleration test 3.9 seconds long on the 22nd of September 2014. Topic. Mars orbit insertion The plan was for an insertion into Mars orbit on 24 September 2014, approximately two days after the arrival of NASA's MAVEN orbiter. The 440 Newton liquid apogee motor was test fired on the 22nd of September at 9 o'clock Coordinated Universal Time for 3.968 seconds, about 41 hours before actual orbit insertion. After these events, the spacecraft performed a reverse maneuver to reorient from its deceleration burn and entered Martian orbit. Topic. Status The orbit insertion put MOM in a highly elliptical orbit around Mars, as planned, with a period of 72 hours 51 minutes 51 seconds, a periapsis of 421.7 km miles and a poapsis of 76,993.6 km miles. At the end of the orbit insertion, MOM was left with 40 kg of fuel on board, more than the 20 kg necessary for a six month mission. On 28 September 2014, MOM controllers published the spacecraft's first global view of Mars. The image was captured by the Mars Color Camera. MCC. On 7 October 2014, the ISRO altered MOM's orbit so as to move it behind Mars for Comet Sighting Springs flyby of the planet on 19 October 2014. The spacecraft consumed 1.9 kg of fuel for the maneuver. As a result, MOM's apoapsis was reduced to 72,000 km. After the comet passed by Mars, ISRO reported that MOM remained healthy. On 4 March 2015, the ISRO reported that the MSM instrument was functioning normally and are studying Mars albedo, the reflectivity of the planet's surface. The Mars color camera was also returning new images of the Martian surface. On 24 March 2015, MOM completed its initial six month mission in orbit around Mars. ISRO extended the mission by an additional six months. The spacecraft has 37 kilograms (82 pounds) of propellant remaining, and all five of its scientific instruments are working properly. The orbiter can reportedly continue orbiting Mars for several years with its remaining propellant. A 17-day communications blackout occurred from 6 to the 22nd of June 2015, while Mars orbit took it behind the Sun from Earth's view. On the 24th of September 2015, ISRO released its Mars Atlas. A 120-page scientific atlas containing images and data from the Mars Orbiter mission's first year in orbit. In March 2016, the first science results of the mission were published in Geophysical Research Letters, presenting measurements obtained by the spacecraft's MENCA instrument of the Martian exosphere. On the 17th of January 2017, MOM's orbit was altered to avoid the impending eclipse season. With a burn of 822 N thrusters for 431 seconds, resulting in a velocity difference of 97.5 meters per second, 351 kilometers per hour, using 20 kilograms, 44 pounds of propellant, leaving 13 kilograms remaining, eclipses were be avoided until September 2017. 
The battery is able to handle eclipses of up to 100 minutes. On the 19th of May 2017, MOM reached 1000 days, 973 souls in orbit around Mars. In that time, the spacecraft completed 388 orbits of the planet and relayed more than 715 images back to Earth. ISRO officials stated that it remains in good health. On the 24th of September 2018, MOM completed four years in its orbit around Mars, although the designed mission life was only six months. Over these years, MOM's Mars color camera has captured over 980 images that were released to the public. The probe is still in good health and continues to work nominally. Topic: Recognition. In 2014, China referred to India's successful Mars Orbiter mission as the Pride of Asia. The Mars Orbiter mission team won US-based National Space Society's 2015 Space Pioneer Award in the Science and Engineering category. NSS said the award was given as the Indian agency successfully executed a Mars mission in its first attempt, and the spacecraft is in an elliptical orbit with a high apoapsis where, with its high-resolution camera, it is taking full disk color imagery of Mars. Very few full disk images have ever been taken in the past, mostly on approach to the planet, as most imaging is done looking straight down in mapping mode. These images will aid planetary scientists. An illustration of the Mars Orbiter Mission spacecraft is featured on the reverse of the 2000 rupees currency note of India. An image taken by the Mars Orbiter Mission spacecraft was the cover photo of the November 2016 issue of National Geographic magazine for their story, Mars: Race to the Red Planet. Topic. Follow up mission ISRO plans to develop and launch a follow up mission called Mars Orbiter Mission 2, MOM 2, or M -A -N -G -A -L -Y -A -N 2 with a greater scientific payload to Mars in 2022 23. The orbiter will use aerobraking to reduce apoapsis of its initial orbit and reach an altitude more suitable for scientific observation. Topic. See also Department of Space ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter List of ISRO missions List of Mars orbiters List of missions to Mars Mars Express Topic. References Topic. External links Mars Orbiter Mission website Mars Orbiter Mission brochure